Here's the pencil sharpener that I modeled uh, last time with the, just a couple of modifications to it. And I've already gone ahead and unwrapped it. I'll, I'll show you a couple of things that I've done here. Um, I've, I've marked a few seams, nothing much, just to put a seam down there so I could get this. And for this piece, I went in and, and marked a few seams here and there. And it's a lot of trial and error to get what I want. Um, these things I just plain unwrapped and this one there's, there's some seams in there as well and uh, yeah just you know you do your, your thing I decided I didn't I didn't want to use smart UV project this time I wanted to just do it so if I take the whole thing that's that's what it looks like I used average island scale and packed and this is what I've come up with all right, so I haven't gone through and changed the size of things I'd want to have bigger or smaller uh, by myself because there's really n no major detail on this. I just want it all on the UV. All right, so I've got that, and then the next thing to do is to export an FBX and bring it into Substance Painter. Here it is in Substance Painter. So the first thing to do is to bake the mesh maps. So I'll go ahead and I'll do that at 2K uncheck ID that's good enough all right there she is looking good there's no problems that I see so we can get started very easy first thing I'm going to do is create or use a smart material I'm going to use one that I've already created but you could use just a, a plastic glossy for this this just puts down a base material and it's got a little bit of smudges in it but really uh, you won't have that smart material you could use pretty much anything Okay, so with that done, the next thing I'm gonna do is come to my materials and search for metal. And I'm gonna scroll down, grab this steel rust. That should be a default material already in Substance Painter. Drop that on there, add a black mask, come to my polygon fill and choose mesh. And I wanna have that on here. I wanna have it on here and on these bolts. So I'm just clicking them and on that. All right, and that's that. That looks just fine as it is uh, to me. So I'm going to leave that there, and then I will put another metal on there. I'm going to use this steel rough, drag it above, put a black mask on, and polygon fill. And I, I want this, and this piece, and this piece, and there's one over on the other side, and that one. And I think that's going to be it for those ones so I wanted a different metal on this here and now I'm going to do this middle part here and for that I'm going to search for plastic I'm going to use this plastic mat drop it on top and I'm going to uh, decrease the roughness get it a little bit more shiny so I'm on halfway and for the color I'm going to color pick from uh, this image here so I'm going to come over here, scroll over there, get something like that. And then I will add a black mask. And in mesh, I want it just on there. So I've got that there. I'm going to take this and duplicate it. But I'll clear the mask. And I will select this piece and this piece. And we'll change the color of that although that does look good actually I need those other pieces too so let's go in and get those I need these little the little teeth like things whatever you would call those that guy one underneath here and that one yeah okay all right, and for that color, let's come in here and we're gonna color pick again. I get this sort of other shade of brown. It's kind of hard and you know, when, when it's in the shadow, so you won't quite get the exact color, but that's kind of what I'm going for there. All right, so we've got that. Those are the basic colors that I'm gonna use. Um, there is a little bit more that I'm going to do though. I want something here, as you can see in the image, this thing is split into sort of the silver uh, metal and, and then there's this block. And so, uh, 
to do that, I'm going to snap into orthographic from the side and zoom in on this thing. And I'm going to create, let's see how I want to do this. Um, maybe I'll actually take this steel, I'll duplicate it, pull it up. I'm going to uh, clear this mask. And here I'm going to change the color to that black. Go on to the mask and I'm going to use an alpha square this and just go across like that try that on the other side I'm holding down um, I'm holding down shift and control didn't go all the way so we'll do that and I'll use the eraser Hold down shift to control. Yeah, that's good. That's probably good enough. Okay. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to put some text on this, and it's not going to be exactly the same, but it'll be something. So yeah, I'm going to I'm going to just use a paint layer, and so what we got to do? I'm going to write barrel giant, I guess. And uh, I'm going to do that in black, just using whatever fonts I've got here. So I'm going to uh, use color and height, actually. And I'll just drop the height just a little bit, just like that. Come to black. In my alphas, I'm going to type font. And this one, I think I'm going to try. And what do I have to write? Barrel Giant. I'm going to try that. I'll try Bold. Okay, it's not going to be exactly the same. That's okay. It'll just look like we got something. So let's go over to the back side here and also do that. All right, and one more thing is this stuff down here, which is going to say Absco Sharpener. Okay, so I'm going to switch this now to a whitish color. Try that, and let's see. Uh, this is all caps, APSCO SHARPENER. I'll have to decrease the size of this to get it to fit in the brush. And then I can increase the size there. Let's just see what that comes out looking like. Don't worry about the sharpness yet. I'm at 1K, I'll bring it up to 2K. APSCO SHARPENER. Yeah, okay, that's good enough. Let's go to the other side. Good. Now I'm not labeling these well. Maybe I'll do this one. I'll call this text because I'm going to add some dirt on top of this. And we'll do color and roughness. Roughness all the way up. And a brownish color, a dark brown for dirt. So before I do that, let's go back to perspective. It'll, it'll look a little bit better. And I'll put on a black mask and then generator, generator dirt. And I'll just bring that down. That'll give me a nice sort of ambient occlusion in there. So this is what we have so far. And I think I'll add some scratches and then we'll up the resolution and that will be it for the pencil sharpener. Okay, so this is dirt. Uh, last one will be uh, not that it will be a fill and let's just go with just uh, just height drag it down just a little bit a black mask and then a fill and have the grayscale ready there for scratches drag this in 
you can see some scratches down here we'll just tone this down and just look around and see if we get any scratches in any weird spots um, it's actually looking okay so let's go ahead and up the resolution we'll bring that to 2k I'll maximize yeah okay so maybe I do have to do a bit of work on the scratches let's try just a, a different seed and decrease the width and maybe decrease the length I'll leave it at that for now okay uh, I will put on uh, temporal anti-aliasing uh, let's try um, I want shadows why not and that is it that, there's the pencil the pencil sharpener okay it's not low poly it came in at about I, I reduced a little bit about 25,000 so it's certainly not low poly for a small thing but I'm doing this mostly for just uh, renders and stuff like that static images and not a game okay cool now ah, there's the pencil sharpener easy to model easy to texture and uh, yeah fun to do cool uh, more is coming very soon hope you tune in thanks